Well, it's good to be talking to AFC Wimbledon first team coach Rob Tooby. Rob, um, a week I guess is, is a long time in football because we were sort of like talking about clean sheets this time last week with Terry Skiverton. A couple of occasions where we've now conceded two goals late on. Um, but I suppose we've got to remember, you know, this, this squad is still at a very formative stage, isn't it? You're still learning about each other. Yeah, we are. Obviously, um, very frustrating um, the past week to concede the late goals and we can't get away from that fact that it has been a frustrating week. But um, lots and lots of positives. So, um, yeah, and things that we see improving all the time, especially in our build-up play and the way that the, um, the detail that the gaff has gone into to try and give us the identity that we've got at the moment. And we really see that coming together. Johnny said to us in the past, you know, he doesn't want to talk about what's gone, it's gone in terms of previous seasons. The situation we find ourselves in now, um, new players, new formations, and it's still very much coming together at this stage, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, like anything, it's still a work in progress. Um, but you can really see the players have got a real understanding of the way the gaffer wants to play. And um, we're really starting to, to build on that all the time. So I think it's really important the days that we've got on the training pitch just to keep homing in on them, um, that information that the gaffer wants to give. And then hopefully we can see that coming out on the pitch. It's that old saying as well that's, that's always going around that in terms of um, you get an idea of the league after about 10 games. I suppose with League 2 it's, it's probably even a little bit more of that, isn't it really? Yeah, I think it's such a competitive league. You can see that it's, um, it's who turns up on the day really in this league. And you see that all the time with the results. They, they chopping and changing. And you'll, you'll probably start to see that after 10 games the league will start to form and you can really start to judge it. But, um, but what's important for us is that we just keep getting points on the board. We're still unbeaten and we take that, we take that confidence into Tuesday night. We spoke to Nathan after the game on Saturday. Um, really refreshing to see his team ethic as well. I mean, there's a lad who's just scored his first two league goals for his new club and he was, he was genuinely still hurting from the fact that we hadn't got the win. So I suppose that's, that's, that's a good thing when you think that some strict psychers have to be selfish about what they do. Definitely. I think as a team we have to hurt after Saturday. Um, it was in our hands and... Obviously, we are frustrated with the ending of the game, so we have to be frustrated as a team. But Nathan, since he's come in, he's shown a great work, work ethic and a real understanding and um, really wants to learn and get better every day. So, um, yeah, him, Paris and all the young players we've been really pleased with so far. How are you finding things? Obviously, you've got the new dynamic between you. Obviously, Bezos there still. Um, of course, the new management have come in. It's, you seem to have settled in very well into it. Yeah, no, definitely. I think um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm learning all the time and the gaffers give me... Um, give me licence to get on the grass and put some ideas out as well. So, no, I'm, I'm loving it so far and I can't speak highly of um, the Gaffer and Skiro since they've come in. They've, they've brought a real, um, real fresh approach to it and uh, you can see around the place that we're all really together in a really close unit. So, of course, obviously the focus on tomorrow night, Mansfield Town. Um, they've had a tough start, of course. They've played, I think, had defeats to Leighton Orient and Salford who are up there at the moment. But this is us really getting into League Two now, isn't it? Because I mean, we faced Gillingham and Doncaster, who who came down with us, basically. Definitely, yeah. Mansfield, really good side. Um, obviously, was unfortunate in the playoffs last season, and uh, we watched the game on Saturday, and it was unfortunate to not come away with anything on Saturday. Um, dominated large parts of the game, so um, yeah, we know that we know the the task that we've got to go up there. Um, we've got to try and put our stance on it and uh, hopefully can come away with three points. And of course, from one point of view, it'll be great to see Anthony Harting again before the game, but um, you don't want to see too much of him during the game, do you? No, of course. I think, as I said before, Ant's been a great servant to this football club um, and someone who, coming from the academy, we're all very proud of. Um, but obviously, 90 minutes tomorrow, we try and stop, we try and make sure that he doesn't enjoy them 90 minutes and then after, we, uh, we wish him all the best for the season. Absolutely. What sort of shape are we in in terms of team news, Rob? Yeah, all good. Everyone's fit to go. Everyone's trained out there today, which is good. Um, yeah, and we're all um, heading up there tonight. So, yeah, all good. A few of the long-term injured. How are the likes of, for starters, Alex Woodyard coming along, perhaps? Yeah, Woody's uh, back on the grass um, in the early parts of running. So, uh, yeah, so that's good news to just see him out there, just ticking over. Um, Hussain Villa's back on the bike, um, but still a long way off. Um, and Josh Hallard is also back on the bike today, but again, will be a long way off. So, um, yeah, hopefully, we, um, it's good news to see them back out and start um, working a little bit more where they're getting closer to that grass, but um, yeah, still a little bit way off at the moment. Luke Jenkins, another one as well, yeah? Yeah, still the same with Luke. Um, I think Luke is in the gym working at the moment, and his next stage will be to be out on the bike, and then hopefully, we can get him running at some point soon. Finally, it is, of course, the gaffer's 40th birthday today. Um, life begins at 40. I mean, what with all the preparations going on, what do you 
find a bit of time perhaps to give him a, get him a drink this evening perhaps? Yeah, potentially. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, no, happy birthday to him. And uh, yeah, I think he's remembered to bring in the donuts, which is, uh, which is good for us all. So yeah. Brilliant, Rob. Thanks for your time. Cheers.